actually funny how we came to <laughs> When we got back, we noticed that the dogs left us a nice little mess by the door. And um, left Hi. us a mess by the door. And so we don't want to reward them, so we left them at home. My shirt. <laughs> Checking myself out in the mirror. My shirt. Hold it. It's riding up. Yeah. Okay, you hold my thing, because I'm going to have to fix my shirt as we walk. So, yeah. so nice outside. So nice out here. I feel naked. You look half naked. <sighs> so beautiful, though. But, yeah, so that's pretty much where things are at now. Some schools are back in. Um, I think, like, senior high school is. And I think it's three, yeah? Yeah, that's senior high school. So senior high school is back. Um, there's talk that we're probably going to be going back next month. So I guess we're going to see how that goes. The biggest concern now is reinfection. Um, so let me explain. Every thing is done on a province by province level. And then from there, it's broken down by like a county level, I think. So it all depends on, I used to love those when I was little. It's got like a, skip it, skip it, skip it. So yeah, um, so that's gonna be varied based on where you live in China. And uh, I know that in places like Beijing, they have like a system. So basically how it works is that, let's have a seat here. So how it works is you use WeChat for everything here. And, uh, oh, there we go. You use WeChat for everything here and so you gotta use your phone to register. Or just looking up at me. <laughs> she probably thinks I'm yelling at her. <laughs> you use your phone to register, like where you've been, who you've been in contact with, that kind of thing. And then to go into stores, you gotta scan your WeChat so it could track where you visited. And then you have a code. So it'll give you three colors, either green, which means that you can go anywhere, yellow, which means you're supposed to be finishing your quarantine or recently done quarantine, and then red, which means you should be in quarantine. So they have a system here like that, but we don't have that in this small town. So if I try to register, it won't let me because uh, my area doesn't do that. But that's how big cities are handling it. My shirt is like riding up and my pants are falling down. So I've got this gap. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so post down below. Let me know if you have any questions that we can answer for you guys about school. Um, I do want to do a video coming up on what we've been doing to keep sane for the last three months. <laughs> um, the problem with that is it needs to be recorded in the house. And uh, I need to clean, but we're working, we're slowly working on that. Um, I'll have that done in the next couple days, so that'll probably be our next video. Stay tuned. I just wanted to touch base on something. So, some and I we were talking, and here's a couple things that interesting. Number one, um, one difference that did happen here is the divorce rates in China have gone up since um, the quarantine. Uh, because couples have to spend more time together now and you know that's not working out so well 
Um, relationships here are a lot different than they are back home. Here they're marriage of convenience. So people get married because they feel like they're pressured to do it rather than, you know, why we do it. And um, a lot of times people are unhappy in their marriages. A lot of people are unhappy and they just stay together because divorce here is still taboo. But divorce rates have skyrocketed. Um, I don't remember the stats, but I remember reading about it. Like, it's up significantly. Um, when we were shut down for a while, and once the offices started opening, there was... I think they said in Beijing, there's normally a wait of, like, three days, and now it's, like, three weeks. So they're backed up, like, a lot more than usual. Um, so that's interesting. Also, um, I was reading that... In the state, I don't know about here, but in the state, uh, with this quarantine, suicide rates have gone up. Because people feel depressed and, um, you know, you're stuck inside, right? So, make sure that you guys check on one another, for sure. Like, make a list of people, right, that you really care about. <laughs> make a list. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to know who's on that list. Make a list and call them. Like every day, call three people from your list. So within a week, you'll have cycled through it. And at least this way here, you're checking on people and just call and check in on them. And if we all check in on each other to help raise our morale, like little things like that to help bring up your morale. It's really important right now. And I think that's one thing that really helped us here is our building, like especially being so far away from everybody, our building was so good at boosting morale. They were, um, we were under lockdown during Valentine's Day and they went around mm. delivering baskets of flowers and chocolates and uh, they went around bringing groceries to people. Our building, I really gotta say, I am so happy I live here. And this isn't a China thing because my assistant didn't get that where she is. And so that's like a our community thing. And they really push like togetherness and unity here and everybody works together and I really love that here. Again, that's not a China thing, that's a where we live thing. Um, so yeah, they, in the summertime, they haven't done it, they canceled, they, I think they had it and then they canceled it during, um, you know, what's going on. But they get together, like spring festival, they, you make dumplings together. In the fall, we made um, moon cake. Um, so they have activities like that. And then in the summertime, like when the weather starts getting warmer, they have movie nights. Actually, where we are now, um, they set up a big theater screen and they have little benches and you can like come sit down and watch a movie together as a family and it's all free. Like, so they, they really push community here. And when push came to shove, I like, I feel bad for all the foreigners here in China because a lot of them don't have their families. So yeah. can you imagine being stuck here? Like, and that's the point that Sarah and I we were discussing before I took out the camera is that what this is, like imagine what you're going through, right? During your quarantine. We go through that every single year. Spring festival, that's pretty much what it's like. You are stuck inside. Mostly everything is closed. Not for a month, but for a solid week everything's closed and for that month things are hit and miss with being open um you don't want to go anywhere you want to be social distancing because everybody is everywhere so like traveling pickpocketing, thing pickpocketing is, is huge yeah. so you got to be careful you got to watch yourself when you go out taking the bus you are stuck like a sardine can just going we went to the mall back in january and um it was what January, I don't know, like the first week of January anyway, beginning of spring festival, second week of January, and um, it was like, you're like standing in a tin of sardines, like everybody's standing, we couldn't even get um, the steps when you get up on the bus, that's it, we stood with the driver the entire time, and it was like a good 20 minute ride, and we were stuck at the front because it was so packed. Um, there's no limit here. Like it's, as long as you can still fit people on the bus, they'll take you. And that's what traveling is like. So you tend to avoid going out. You tend to avoid people. You're locked in your house for pretty much an entire month. You have basically social distancing, which is what you guys are doing. A lot of things are closed. So, 
these little kids here. They're going to go on the camera now? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, there they are. Um, so a lot of things are closed. So, you know, like pretty much what you're going through, we go through every month or every year. And that's pretty much spring festival for us. And Chinese people are all out doing their family thing. And we just missed Christmas. Yeah. So we just spend Christmas without our families feeling already starting to feel like excluded and depressed because you missed all that. And then you get stuck being confined for a month. And then, yeah, then things go back to normal after that. But I think that's why we're able to handle this a little bit better because we're used to being locked up. And we're used to like... Not in a criminal kind of way, but... Usually what we'll do is we'll play little games throughout Spring Festival to keep us busy and to keep us sane. So we're used to doing all these little things. And Absolutely. We're used to, like you said, we're used to being able to do those things, right? So yeah, so that's why... Is that okay? So that's why we're saying I think it's a little bit easier for us. And that's just when we know about depression. Like, it, it hits. And it hits hard every year. This year was the only year that we did it. And we believe it's because um, we weren't, like, locked up alone. <laughs> Everybody was going through what we were going through. So, you know. Yeah, because otherwise on WeChat and stuff, you see people with their family. You see people eating with their family. You see people, like, gathering together. Everybody's out at the park, and you know, we're like, okay. <laughs> and yeah, this time, because everybody's locked down, everybody's like checking on us. Yeah. So they're all like, are you guys doing okay? Is everything good? Like, how are things? And so people are actually checking on us. But Spring Festival, everybody forgets about you. Yeah. You are like forgotten about and just left alone for an entire month. Because everybody's. Okay, cause, I totally yeah. get it. <laughs> I don't check on them when I'm celebrating Christmas. Like, I totally get it. And then, you know, you guys back home, you don't know about Spring Festival and you're busy doing your own life. Again, totally get it. But I think that's when it's here, it was so much easier and so much nicer. And, um, every year I pick up a new hobby. Um, I've done nail extensions, I've done soaps, I've done... Every year there's something else. Um, I think last year is like a lot of Xbox, Sims 4. Mm. Yeah, yeah, games. That, last year is when we discovered Last Down Earth and oh, we ASMR. started playing that. We ASMR. We started an ASMR channel. We got zero videos uploaded, <laughs> but we got all the equipment. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, basically, that's what I want to say. Like, just make sure you guys check on each other. Take care of each other. Stay away from each other. <laughs> take care of each other by staying away from each other. And like I said yeah, on Facebook, the sooner that everybody stays home, stays away from each other, the sooner this can be eradicated. So, stay safe, guys. You know that too. How beautiful this is, guys. Just to sit here, relax by the water. I love the bamboo. I love it, yeah. So pretty. And again, like we live right here. This is our community, this is our yard. They don't have fish in here yet, but there will be. Soon. People stop taking fountain water and putting it in here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cup in there. Hmm. Save the turtles. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So, do you got anything to say? Nothing. You've suddenly gone shy. Like you were just chattering your face off a minute ago. I said it was pretty, and that's it. And now we can have a picnic right there. Hmm. He was like, where's the monkey? Where? That man. That man? Oh, well. I need to find a garbage. It is. I love this community. It's a little expensive. <laughs> and in the middle of nowhere. But I love it. I like how they don't, um, they don't let you have fireworks off in the middle of the night or <laughs> early in the morning. <laughs> okay, I get that sounds weird. <laughs> Our first, I think it was like what, third or fourth morning here. Yeah.
like not here but in China. I remember laying in bed and all of a sudden it sounded like gunshots out the window. Like right outside your window. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. It was just fireworks at like stupid early, like eight o'clock in the morning or so. And then I remember you were like, oh, there's a parade. We should go check out the parade. There's supposed to be a holiday. There should be a parade. <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it was uh, tomb sweeping, which I believe that was like, isn't it this weekend? I think so. It was around this time. Oh, my God. They moved the fucking garbage. Like, I'm bringing this home with me. <laughs> uh, there's garbage by the elevator. Oh, my God. Um, you gotta go in my pocket. So, yeah, um, it was like tomb sweeping, and it was so, it was, there was like a holiday. So I was like, okay. And, um, they don't do anything. You don't even know there's a holiday. There we go. Alright. It smells so good. The carpet? This was a rectangle. What happened? No. This was facing this way. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are doing with your pelt. <laughs> oh. You're bad. Joey's climbing. <laughs> oh, no. A little bit more time and there will do you some good. All right. <laughs> 